Northampton Healthcare Trust provides the health services that people need to support them at different stages in their life. There are 4,000 staff working in the organisation with a huge range of skills from doctors and nurses through therapists, through care workers, right through to specialist technicians. We deliver our services across the county in every town, every village of the county. Mainly we deliver the services in GP premises or in our own community premises. We also provide services in all of the hospitals in the county. We came to Shore Start for the first time because it was recommended by the health visitor. She said about there being groups that we could access, getting to know other mums, so that was really beneficial when you first have a baby. We've been to some music and movement sessions, some active tumble time sessions as well, and sensory development. My daughter loves coming to the children's centres. She loves seeing other children and it's really helped her for when she started nursery recently because she's already been used to being in that sort of environment. Well we come to Shore Start really so that he can be amongst other kids and just play with different toys and just, just an opportunity to get out really and, and be amongst other people. The Northamptonshire Diabetes MDT is um, a service that's been put in place um, over about the last 15 months to help people with diabetes um, get better control over their condition. What we're aiming to do is provide care closer to home to stop people coming into hospital as often as they do and come out of hospital if they've been in with a, a good support package. A lot of care for diabetes is delivered by GPs and practice nurses and one of the key things for our team is to work really closely with those GPs and practice nurses so that people get the best care. We have a team of diabetes specialist support workers who um, can go out and see patients in their own home um, this, if they find it really difficult to get to a general practice or to a clinic. This also adds the benefit of being able to um, look at how they manage things in their own home. We also run a number of education programmes which help people who are newly diagnosed or even in an ongoing situation with management of their diabetes. The patients would get a little bit more time with us than they would maybe in their own general practice, um, just dedicated to their diabetes. We can focus the attention more on how they're managing and how they're coping and what they're finding difficult and agree a personalised plan with them. What we hope is that in this team we enable people to manage that better for themselves by putting in good programmes of care for them and by enabling them to access a service when they really are in need. Vale is part of the intensive support service which is based at Berrywood Hospital. We're primarily a community based service, however we do have Vale as our four bedded inpatient unit for people with learning disabilities. And when people come into Vale we do assess their level of skill and we try and maintain and improve on them before people go out back into the community. My name's Charles McCoy, I stayed at Vale for three months. I enjoy cooking, relaxation, basketball and taking part in the the, um, the, the conference. I learned different skills like cleaning skills, uh, domestic skills, all this kind of skills and that was good. First time I was in here I, I made, a, um, I made a, a cake, a cherry cake with Charlotte and then I made apple crumble uh, uh, baked well tart the whole lot. 
I enjoyed the garden with my winter pansies what I planted it last year when I was in here. I enjoyed the ward round meetings on a Monday morning at 10 o'clock to 12. And you talk about things you wanted to, and then they listen to you. I wonder what I do, Vale, then to pass on to the Martins. When people leave Vale, uh, they will have developed greater independence and some of the individuals will move on to supported or independent living. I have a condition called bronchiectasis with allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis. I need IV antibiotics when I have a flare-up and the intermediate care team come to administer the dose at home. When I was first diagnosed with the condition, I was in and out of hospital regularly. My poor husband ended up having time off from work. My girls had to have time off from work to keep coming and seeing me. My consultant decided that it wasn't a good place for me to be in hospital and he would like me out in the community and having my drugs regularly through the intermediate care team. Oh, it's a fantastic thing. I mean, they come regularly. I mean, there's odd times I've had to get me out of the shower in the morning. <laughs> because I'm allowed to be treated at home, I've got an oximeter which measures the oxygen in my blood. If that drops below 90, I have to ring and get help. Also got a um, nebulizer that I have administered my own drugs. Because they have discovered that exercise is fantastic for people with lung problems, that I have an exercise regime I have to I do about 30 minutes a day. I don't think the service for me can be improved. I think it's a fantastic service. The important thing about how health services are delivered in the future is that services need to be more integrated. We need to look much more closely at the services that are provided by health, by social care and also, very, very importantly, by the voluntary sector. And together we need to then provide services in different ways, but ways that are determined by the patients themselves, by their families and in ways that actually best suit those people.